Hello everybody, welcome to one more video with your host Dr. Mara Jasir Subramanian and in this video I'm going to speak about the concept of outsourcing especially you know like of trainers whom I get to meet a lot and they keep on asking me one question you know like uh, Dr. Maharaja I know that you are a trainer and you have all the time uh, you know like as if, uh, you know like to do your own marketing or your own uh, logistics your own arrangements your own research and all those things but you know like when it comes to us we will like to outsource certain processes you know like we would like to also someone else building our website someone else uh, you know like doing our membership site someone else you know like taking care of the marketing sales and marketing and all those aspects in terms of social media marketing and all those things and they ask me for suggestions in terms of like whom i can refer to them where they can outsource and uh, get it so you know like do I know people to whom i can refer you if you want to outsource your work my answer is yes but at the same time you know like I also tell to them, hey, I've also got some specific programs which you need to undergo before you actually outsource. Before you actually outsource. And you know, like those programs are focused on two concepts. One, awareness about a lot of important things, a lot of fundamental things. And the second thing is about understanding how all those fundamental things impact your business. So irrespective of whether you know like you outsource or you don't outsource. There are certain fundamentals. There are certain fundamentals, and it doesn't matter to whom you also. There are always certain fundamentals about which you need to be aware about, and you also need to understand them to be able to leverage them, to be able to maximizely effectively use them, and uh, get the best results for your work, for your work, for your message, and all those things. So, how does understanding these fundamental processes helps, especially before you outsource? Step number one is it clearly smoothens the process. It makes the process really smooth where you understand why certain things are needed. A lot of times what happens when you also stuff, they try to help you, uh, you know, like gain clarity in terms of like why certain things needs to be done. And if you don't understand why it needs to be done, then a lot of times it may involve a higher cost. It may involve a higher cost. So that is one thing. Second thing is, you know, like uh, you can save on multiple test versions. I'll, I'll read the points and then I'll explain on the one. Okay. First thing, it, the clarity smoothens the process. That's one. The second thing is it saves on a lot of multiple test versions uh, where you do it mostly based upon trial and error rather than you know, getting the result. It helps you to be more resourceful. Then the next one is learn more to achieve more than you thought possible. When you learn more, when you know more, then it is even more possible for you to achieve a lot. And you can leverage and repurpose to maximize and get the fishing net, get the fishing net. Now this concept alone is worth it, why you need to understand and become aware of all the fundamental process. Let us go one point at a time, even in this video. So one, the clarity smoothens the process. When you know how the process actually works, okay, it, the two process, when you know how the process actually works, you'll be able to minimize the time required with your outsourcing service provider. You'll be able to give them the clear uh, detail and clear guidelines in terms of what you expect when you outsource it to them. This saves a lot of test version. This saves a lot of test version. So, like say for example, I'll give you a discussion which I had with an app builder with a company which specializes in making apps for Android and iOS. So when when I was having a discussion with them, I told them, you know, like, hey, this is a type of app which a client of mine wants it next year, not now, but next year, and they would like to have a budget of the same. When I told it, you know, like they told, yes, this is what it will cost. And the cost was given somewhere between 1.5 to 2 lakhs based upon the current price. So if they are going to do it in the current price, it's going to be somewhere between 1.5 to 2 lakhs. And then I gave them some more clarity in terms of like, hey, this is what I want them to achieve. This is what they are looking on to uh, achieve. This is how it is going to progress. This is how it is. These are the different features that are really essential. And these are some of the features which usually come in apps, which is not at all essential for them. So when we were having discussions like this, the discussion was there for more uh, close to 30 minutes in terms of where I could tell to them clearly. And the price dropped from somewhere between 1.5 lakhs Indian rupees to 2 lakh Indian rupees to as well as 50,000 to 1 lakh Indian rupees. It's like virtually came to one fourth of the price that was actually, uh, you know, like given as an estimate in the beginning. And that took only over a 20 minute telephonic conversation. It was not even, you know, like in terms of a person meeting or, you know, like where estimates were drawn or much like that. But, you know, like the basic uh, pricing was given somewhere between, you know, like, hey, it's going to be somewhere between 50,000 to 1 lakh. Not more than that. As compared to the earlier price that was given, which was between 1.5 lakhs to 2 lakhs. And then the person the with whom I spoke, the technical guy, he told me, Dr. Mahaja, I really appreciate the way you could tell it with real clarity. You could tell it with real clarity. Why? Because what usually happens is, a lot of times people come, they tell us that this is what is the product they want. We try to ask them some questions and many times we don't have the clarity ourselves also. Sometimes we do have the clarity. Sometimes we are not able to explain certain things and then we build a product. We build an app. 
then that goes for another iteration, then that goes for another iteration. So like this, you know, like multiple versions are built and the billing is actually done, not because we want to make more profits or we want to sell it at higher cost, rather it is done because so much of man hours is actually invested into it. So much of human hours is actually invested into it, where you go through it again and again and again and again. I have numerous examples of clients who have lost a lot of time, lost a lot of resources and lost a lot of money because the fundamentals are not taken care of. The fundamentals were not taken care of or you know like the process as self was not understood. Like another with another client of mine, what happened was you know like they outsourced the project to someone and for three days they were undergoing a training for setup training which was not even needed to be done by them. Why? Because there was an another plug and play system which was easily available in the market which would have delivered the same result at one tenth of the cost. So they were going through something where they also involved the entire organization work for three days. Entire organization, it was a small company of about five people, entire organization work for three days. When they could have got the same thing done at one tenth of the cost that was provided or that was spent and they could have achieved it in as less than 20 to 30 minutes. So that's one thing. Second thing is being more resourceful. When you know what and all can be achieved, you know, this is where I like to again combine two points. One is be more resourceful and learn more to achieve more than you thought possible. See, our, our achievement in any area, our leverage of any process as such can be done in terms of how much we have mastery about the same process. Now, if you have more mastery about the process, then you can leverage more about it. If you have less mastery about the process, you can leverage less about it. That, that's the key point. You know, like say, for example, if, if you want to, you know, like, uh, engage through an audience based upon social media marketing and you understand you know like hey this is what social media marketing is all about or this is the impact that social media marketing can actually create if you have the resources you can actually leverage it or i will even use the term you can exploit it for your betterment and even for other betterment where you know like you can get more results you can get more results this is what i call as a tipping point a lot of time people just don't understand the impact that can be created or the results that can be achieved and they put in less efforts and they fall short in terms of what they can achieve. In terms of what they can achieve. A lot of businesses, which I know, I'm speaking about B2B business, I'm speaking about B2C business, I'm speaking about product, I'm speaking about services businesses, I'm speaking about training businesses, and I'm also speaking about network marketing businesses. All businesses, all the six categories of businesses which I usually follow for. There, a lot of them, especially solopreneurs and small business owners belonging to these categories, I've not seen much of them you utilize or you know like average on the free online presence tools which are still available i mean like they're still going for tools like seo or they're still going for paid advertising then a lot more can be achieved if they can learn and you know like be able to clearly utilize on also the free tools that's there available in the online digital media in terms of social media and all those things so that's something you know like they're learning more will help you to understand more and when you understand more you'll be able to achieve more more than what you thought possible because now your vision is not this much. Suppose if you are starting from here and you are going over here, this is what you can achieve. But the same, when you understand the fundamentals before you actually outsource, you start from here but you can reach up to over here. And this is where you can become more resourceful. Leverage and repurpose to maximize, get the fishing net. Get the fishing net. You know, the concept of fishing net is something, in short, I will share in this video, is like you can have fishing rods where you may be able to catch one fish at a time. You may have 10 fishing rods where you may be able to, you know, like catch 10 fishes at a time. But then what if instead of those 10 fishing rods, you have fishing net. You're going to catch more than 10 fishes if they are going to be in that area of water. So where is it that you're going to catch more? It's going to be when you are able to use the fishing net and for which you need to understand the process in terms of like, hey, this one is an individual process, this one is an individual process, this one is an individual process. How can I connect the dots? How can I connect the different process? Like, you know, okay, fine. Somebody is managing my newspaper marketing. Somebody is managing my logistics. Somebody is managing my social media marketing. Somebody is managing my email marketing. Somebody is managing my in-person marketing. Now, can I create a framework or can I tell them to create a framework or can I bring in a person who can create a framework? All three possibilities. Then it's like, hey, can I create? Or can I tell them to create? Can I get them to create? Or can I bring in a person, a consultant, to you know, like be able to create a, this one where all those dots are connected and then you no longer have fishing rods. There may be individuals who may be uh, implementing the same, but then you have a fishing net which is going to deliver you more fishes. And that's what is it's all important about. 
So these are the different things that you need to understand before you also your project in terms of anything and uh, this is where you know like I have been successful uh, to a greater extent working with some of the clients who understood you know like hey these are different things where I can add, whether it be in my hypnotherapy practice or whether it be in my business consulting or whether it be in my uh, online uh, presence uh, consulting work I could help other people when they could understand the process more before they wanted to outsource it or you know like in terms of uh, before they got someone else to do it the same, you know, like when people that uh, you know skeptical about, like in terms of like understanding or taking the time, investing the time to understand, I could clearly see that they left a lot of money on the table. They lost a lot of money, and uh, their opportunity cost was huge. And also in terms of expenses, they had a lot of uh, you know not needed expenses. So you know, like if you want to have in more businesses, if you want to do it in a cost-effective manner, it's always worth it to understand the process before you also the process. This is Dr. Maharaja Sivasubramanian over here. Uh, wishing you a great life ahead. Have a great day. Bye-bye.